tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey, it's me. I uh, was just calling to wonder where you've been and how you've been because I haven't been able to get a hold of you and this is my 15th time trying to call and now I finally got through to one of your numbers. Uh, one of your friends told me because I said that your mom was dying. But, you know, honestly, it's about the same emergency because uh, I think you've been missing me too but you didn't know how to get a hold of me. Just so you know, my number is 555 one two four seven three eight seven. Okay, all right. Yeah, I might have just told you the number of a uh, payphone, but that's because I don't have a house or I don't have a phone. Or I don't have anything because I spent all my money trying to get to you. But that's okay because when I get to you, I'll be happier and I won't need anything in my life ever. Well, except for food and water, of course. But we can go and get that together, right? We can go to the mall. We can go to the store together. We can shop for our clothes together. We can go buy baby clothes for our child we're going to have together. Oh, it'll be wonderful. But let's just think about what's been going on. Uh, you've moved, right? I think you moved to, what, five miles away? I can't think of the town name. It's like something with the A, right? Well, if I'm wrong, you can always call me back and tell me if I'm right or wrong. You know, just talk to me. Um. Talking to the voice machine really doesn't make me feel that good, and I just want to hear your beautiful voice again, and uh, I finally got through. It just makes me so happy. I can't tell you how many times your numbers have said they've been disconnected. Have you been having phone issues, or like, is there something I'm missing? Are you trying to block me? I don't think you would do that, would you? Because our love is so strong, and... Uh, have you gotten the 20 things of flowers I've sent to you? I've sent you 20... Bundles of roses to your house. I, The people who I've been buying them from have saying they've reached location. There's a lovely woman who answered the door, and that's all I heard, okay? So I hope they're nice. I hope you've been putting them in a nice vase. I think I even sent you a vase, but I don't know. I haven't heard anything back from you. I haven't heard anything more from them. I just, I miss you so much, and I want to know... What's been going on with you? You don't have a a, boy, a boyfriend, do you? Uh, well, I mean, that's okay if you do, but, you know, you know how we feel about each other, right? Like, that guy is nowhere near as important as I am. Of course not. Um, you have to understand that I'm the one who's doing all these things for you. I am making you right now. I bought you so many roses. I cost hundreds of dollars, and would you just work at a simple fast food job and you think that's that's worth more than I am or that other man who might take you out to a buffalo wild wings for a dinner and watch the game that's better than what I do for you I don't think you understood that when we went out together even though I could have sworn you really drank a lot of water before you had to keep going to the bathroom that we still had something then and I had even put a golden ring in your cake that you ordered, or well, that I ordered for you, but you had to leave because your mom had pneumonia and was at the hospital. That that ring was for you, and I don't know why your mom had to be a selfish bitch and get sick for no fucking. I'm sorry. One, two, three. Okay. I don't know the breakdown there. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, that ring, so we could get together, but you just, you seem so shy. I'm really not that scary, am I? Like, I feel like I'm a good, I'm a good guy. I don't, I don't know what to say. But I know maybe you're just really nervous about the whole thing, and maybe it's because we're young and you don't want to get engaged yet. That's okay. We can take baby steps first. I know that's important because we're adults and we can handle this, right? Of course we can, yes. And no matter how many locks it takes for me to break through to get to you, I'll keep breaking them all, baby. I'm doing it for you. And I really just can't wait to see your beautiful face again. 
and that voice when you're singing in the shower in your bathroom. I'm outside the window singing along and you know sometimes I sometimes I touch myself to your voice. I'll admit it, yeah. I touch myself to your voice because it's so beautiful, but that should be a compliment, you know. Yeah. Um what do you say about getting dinner sometime soon? Uh I think we could go to a nice Italian restaurant. I just saved up enough money so we can go do that. You can order whatever you want. You can get dessert too. You can get we can get a bottle of wine. We can do whatever it makes you comfortable. You can get whatever you want. And if you need a dress, I can get you a dress. We can wear some nice clothing out to the event too. We don't have to look like bums, no sweatpants or any of that, because you know how that makes me feel. People go out looking like trash. I don't understand why people just think they can wear whatever they fucking want. Okay. But I miss you. I miss you a lot, and. I don't think I can describe it in this voicemail, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. You want me to get comfortable? Ah. <sighs> you know, my love for you is like a bee's love for flowers. It brings love, spreads love, shares it with the world. Of course, it doesn't share it with any other girl because you're the only girl for me. And I think you don't realize that yet. Maybe that's why you're really shy. You don't trust me. But if you give me the chance that I deserve... For you to trust me, then it'll be okay, right? I mean, you'll love me, right? I'll be getting what I should be, a, should have gotten, a long time ago, right? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, once again, freaking put the ticks in my. Uh, okay. <coughs> oh my gosh, just thinking about you makes me really, really anxious. Maybe that's what's causing all these ticks. I haven't felt this way in a long time. You know, you we've been so far apart for years, and I just can't stop thinking about you. That's why I've been calling, and I've been so persistent. But I don't think any other man has done this for you. Nobody else cares as much about you. You're not important to anyone else but me. You know, but that's okay. Because we don't need anybody else. We just need us. And that's all we'll ever really need. It's just us. And I really miss you. It's... I can't think about all the years I've been apart. Excuse me. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I've just been making plans in my head, but I keep forgetting I have to tell you because you're kind of a person too. So you might be part of this, and that's why I decided to leave you this voicemail. I know it's a little long, but that's okay. It's because we, this is the time we're taking together to recuperate as a couple, you know? We've been separated by distance and by life goals and obstacles and many things but we'll be together I promise so I'm making my way there 
I bought this lovely tracking device off of Amazon, and as I'm calling you right now, it's giving me your address, and yeah, so, it's nice, this is very nice, I'll be there shortly, um, I gotta pack, I gotta pack first, I gotta get all my things, I don't have any things, so I'll just bring myself, and I'll get a ticket on the bus, and I'll be over to you shortly, so, don't you worry, my dear. You won't be alone for very long. For I'll be there. I'll be there to love you, to hold you. I'll be your man, I'll be your rock. You'll have nothing to fear. You'll have nothing to worry about at all anymore. Okay? It makes me feel good, too. Don't worry about that. Just thinking about you makes me so happy. And what we can do together. Or babies. They'll be beautiful. They'll have your eyes. They'll have my intelligence. They'll have your beautiful body. And they'll have my charm. <laughs> okay. I know. it. This is probably a little long, and you might only listen to the very beginning of it, but that's okay. As long as you hear from me, you should know that I'm coming. I'm coming to see you. And nothing is going to stop me, baby. I'm on my way. Right now. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>